Hi everybody, this is Brian with the Instructional Tech Coordinator team. So in the last video, if you're watching from our YouTube playlist, it talks about all of the things that Google Classroom actually is and the things that it can do. It's great for connecting students and having students and teachers communicate with each other. It's really great for being able to share resources and give assignments to students and collect those back from them. It's great for organizing our work, especially the work that's submitted to us by students in Google Drive. So it does a lot of really great things. The one thing that I want to share with you that Google uh, Classroom really isn't in our district and that it won't be, at least at this time for us, is it won't be a replacement for Blackboard. And that's primarily because of the structural differences between Google Classroom and Blackboard, and also because of the inability for parents to actually get into a Google Classroom course. So what I'm telling you is you really need to learn to use the two in tandem, using Google Classroom to support your workflow and helping you to become more, more paperless and communicate with students a little bit more efficiently, but also using Blackboard to structure your courses. So let me just show you a quick example of what I mean by that. Here is a Google Classroom course that a group of us have set up with. And you can see there are announcements, which are really great, and it's a great way to have a conversation with a group of people in the course. There are assignments, and assignments give the students the resources they need, something that Blackboard does very well as well. It also allows students to turn in that work, right? So we can turn them in here and we can see who's done. We can assess that work even in here and give feedback to it, which is good stuff. The one thing that Google Classroom can't do, though, is you see this long running list of resources and the newest one always appears at the top, whether that's an announcement or an assignment or whatever it may be, but it doesn't do a great job of structuring learning. Well, what do I mean by that? So let's take a look at this particular course here in Blackboard. So in Blackboard, this is a self-paced course that you can take. And along the left-hand side, we've already structured the thinking about how to navigate through that course, where to start and what information you're gonna need, the pace at which you're gonna go through that course. But then the next piece of that is the ability for us to actually lay out learning modules for students. So here you can see, this is actually structured learning that students can go through. And I'm able to set all of this up in advance and then unveil different parts of it to students as they're ready for it. So Blackboard is a great course content delivery system and Google plus uh, Google Classroom just hasn't really gotten there yet maybe it will at some point but at this point Blackboard is really the place for our students to start where we launch them from the way that we introduce content especially digital content to them and Google Classroom is a way for us to do a little bit of communicating with them but also to, to increase our workflow so that students can get resources that they need and return those to us in a neat, organized, uh, easy to find fashion. So hopefully you understand the differences between those two and you understand that we really will continue to need both here as instructors in the school district of Waukesha.